So we asked Michelle Wooker, Executive Director of the World Policy Institute, to join us tonight to provide insight into the social and political fallout from the current economic crisis. Thanks very much for being with us. Give us some perspective. Is this unrest we've seen in Iceland and other countries recently of a scale we haven't seen before? Well, I think individual protests will be thing, similar to things we've seen before. What we're seeing now is going to be more and more countries at once, and in countries where would, you wouldn't expect there to be such unrest, like someplace as placid as, as Iceland. Well, that begs the question. Give us an idea of what countries uh, may be under the greatest threat from this kind of unrest, and even political unrest brought on by the economic crisis. Who's at most risk? You'll see a lot of the countries of Eastern Europe, which had been seeing tremendous economic growth, which all of a sudden has been pulled back. You'll also see a lot of Latin America, which throughout the 1990s heard a lot of tighten your belt, get your, get your things in order. Now that we've got this crisis and the wealthy countries of the world are using stimulus, stimulus, stimulus to fix their problems, the countries of Latin America and other countries of the global south might be seeing a little hypocrisy. What about in China? And, and I mention this because there has been some protest, especially with the thousands of factories that have closed. Is there a risk there? Absolutely. China's problem is that they've been producing so many goods that the rest of the world has been absorbing, but it hasn't done quite as well as it could in building its middle class and bringing people up out of poverty and enabling them to buy the goods that other Chinese are producing. And I think we also worry not only because there are so many people there, but because we rely so greatly on the economy of China. There's a real interdependent relationship between this country and China, and not least of which China having looked at the United States as, as a model for a consumption society, which it hasn't quite come to terms with yet. And I, I bring that up because as these nations try to respond, as they put measures in place to quell the unrest in their own borders, how could that impact the United States? You're starting to see some countries put in place high tariffs, uh, like Russia has done on uh, imported used cars. That's a sort of a closing the border, turning in with temporary solutions that in the long run are going to be worse off for that country and certainly for other countries. It will destroy trade ties, it'll slow growth, make the economic crisis worse, and it may break down some diplomatic ties too because of the tension over, over trade. Michelle Walker, thank you very much for coming in and speaking with us today. My pleasure.